Dear sewing friends, let's talk about something fun, something exciting, something positive. And March Sewing Makes, it is. And you know, I was uh, getting ready for this video and I tried to count how many sewing makes I actually made in the month of March. And after 10, I truly lost count. So I definitely know there's gonna be a few pieces for you guys to get excited and to get encouraged by. And some of them I made for myself, some of them were made as gifts, and some of them were made for my little baby. But all of them were made using free sunk patterns, which I know gives you a lot of inspiration, guys. So without any further ado, let's get started. Dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. I am super beyond happy seeing you here today. You have no idea. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all staying well and usually or sometimes I begin these videos with the project that has been the most exciting project of the month or the most favorite one. But today I would love to give a spotlight to a project that actually got the most wear this past month. You know why? Because we're all stuck at home and what could be more comfortable to wear at home than a good, relaxed fit t-shirt. And the free sewing pattern is the Toronto Tee by Rebecca Page. I've made it numerous times and it just so happens that you guys are in luck. If you've never made this uh, free sewing pattern, I made a full review video in the free sewing pattern series that tells you everything you need to know about this t-shirt pattern and what to know, what to avoid, what to do and what not to do. And I can tell you this, it's a winner for sure. I got to play with a new technique on the sleeves, which I also have like a really short like a three minute tutorial on but overall I'm really happy the fabric was from the fabric mart and that was actually the first time I ever ordered fabric from them and that was like a few months back but overall I'm really happy super nice super flowy and it can go with so many different things and you know what I had to stop myself a few times from wearing this at home because it's white and I have a one-year-old. And you know how white things just don't survive around toddlers? Well, that's the reason I am putting it away until the time that we're all allowed to go outside and hopefully I'll get to enjoy it with maybe a jacket or a cardigan or over some skinny jeans or something fun like that. So I have a feeling that you probably have been trying to work through your pile of scrap fabric very intensively throughout these past couple weeks and um, you know what, I've been doing exactly the same and I can tell you this, uh, I have both. I have wovens and knits and that kind of gives you an opportunity to really apply these scrap fabrics in so many different ways and I made zipper pouches, uh, great for gifts and you know what, I got so inspired by making these that I will actually make a whole bunch of these for Christmas gifts and I will make a batch sewing tutorial for you guys in case you want to make some of these to sell or maybe as gifts just like I will. Now again what did I not make from scrap fabric? I had really a lot of fun. I made a t-shirt like this. Ringer tee is the free sewing pattern if you're interested and look at this one. This one is extremely interesting because the scrap fabric is very uneven and very irregular and I will do a video on how to best use your scrap fabric because there are some tips and tricks that you can apply to really get the most use out of your remnants because even here take a look I actually made a seam in the middle of the sleeve because I did not have a big enough piece to uh, to actually cut the sleeve out but you can do things like that which usually we would cut a sleeve out of one piece um, and it kind of doesn't really come to mind right away that oh I can actually combine a sleeve out of two pieces and it doesn't look good on, on all uh, garments but in some you can actually do that. So here it is. And then this one is really fun too. Look at that. I combined three different fabrics together and as you can see here as well, the fabric remnant isn't uh, regular either. It's kind of like a little bit on the diagonal over there. And then I made socks. Can you imagine? You can actually sew socks out of fabric. I was blown away. And these are fun and comfortable as well. And there's another video, a chatty video of me sewing these together with you guys and kind of telling you everything about uh, what am I experiencing in the moment of sewing these socks which is just you know a fun chatty video and I will always 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 leave all the links mentioned in the video in the info box below so you can find the free sewing patterns and the videos that I talk about. All right, on to my favorite project of this past month. Now, this is Balin Top, which also has an option for a dress. It's a free sewing pattern by one of the French designers, Pauline Alice, and 
you guys are in luck one more time I did a full review video on this free sewing pattern and let me tell you a few things right now that I'm super excited about so first of all I got to play around with the construction and I did a seam down the center of the top and that's you know quite unusual I would say but uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because the top itself is cut on a bias and that's what the pattern is calling for and in this case I got to play around with stripes and to create that chevron look by making that seam down the middle which is really fun and then overall I would say it's a quite easy make um, the only part that I was kind of having a little bit of a struggle and an inner dialogue with the bias tape I was telling her please just work with me here is because I really needed to make sure that all of the little chevron pieces here match perfectly and I did overwork it a little bit I would say enough for me to know that I overworked it but not enough for everybody else to notice so I'm okay I, I can live with that but overall it's quite a fun free song pattern and you will also see by watching that video that I did change the neckline for a few reasons and one of them is because I really wanted the stripes to go in the same direction as the v-neck of the neckline and guess what I would have never thought that I would actually have an idea of making another camisole because if you guys have known me for a few years, you will know that um, I am not a big fan of camisoles. I always felt that they're exposing a little bit too much skin and I just personally never really felt too comfortable wearing them. Well, guess what? I made another one and it's a reversible one and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. So from one side, it's white and from the other side, it's gray and it works and I really wanted to play around with it and see if it turns out and it did and now that I'm thinking about it if I look back to the past week and um, see what I've been wearing even in the videos well majority of the times I'm wearing this camisole with different sets of cardigans which just proves the point that it definitely is a keeper and definitely is a staple in your wardrobe I just uh, I think I'm comfortable wearing it with a cardigan maybe just not on its own unless at summertime. Yes, technically not a sewing make, but I really wanted to share this one with you, so I hope you forgive me. This one is just a really fun knitted blanket, very simple, nothing special. I literally just used the knowledge that my grandmother passed on to me about knitting, nothing else, and, uh, and a big chunky yarn from Joann's uh, that I got for like 50% off. And I really wanted something for our living room to have something a little bit warmer to cover yourself if you're like watching TV or relaxed because in the past I made just a hand dyed uh, cotton sheet which is really fun in the summertime because it's nice and cooling but in all of the other times and you know what I'm one of those people that's like literally always cold so I really need something nice warm and fuzzy to kind of keep me keep me comfortable so I really wanted something a little bit different and I decided to steer away a little bit from my regular sewing endeavors and try something else and I encourage you to have fun as well guys if you have an opportunity or if you feel that sewing is just getting a little bit too much especially these days try something else you know you can definitely make some fun simple but fun things like this knitted blanket Speaking of trying something different, you can do so many fun things with your sewing machine, you would be surprised. And this past month, I made a fun little video for you guys about how to stitch greeting cards on your sewing machine. You heard that right? Stitching. And it just adds that little touch of pizzazz to your greeting cards. And you're still kind of staying in your lane of having fun with sewing, but in a different kind of way. And I made quite a few of these actually, and I'll be sending them out as a feel good um, kind of greeting cards for those people who might be alone during this time, or for those who just need a little bit more support. And all of us do need a little bit more support. So I'll be sending out quite a few of these, but I just wanted to share that with you. And if you do like to color or maybe paint, I also made a really fun thing for you which is right over there it's a coloring page that I made for you guys as an inspirational poster to put in your sewing room or your craft room that you can paint or just leave it as is and it can be something nice and interesting and different um, on the wall of your sewing room just reminding you to keep positive stay positive and make beautiful things while we have this time and maybe just just for a moment forget about all the things that are happening in the world right now 
You guys know how much I love babies and I think that kids just in general make everything feel a little better in the moment. And there was a little baby girl who was born this past month in the circle of our family. And of course, I could not help myself but to make something cute for her. So I did use fabric remnants because I had enough. And she's a newborn, so you really don't have to have a lot of fabric for the new babies. Now, the free sewing pattern for the sweater was by C. Kate Sew, so, and for the little hat was by Sweet Red Poppy. And I've used them time and time again, so those are definitely tried and true. If you wanna make something beautiful for a newborn in your life, then definitely those ones are the go-to. And that's about it for today. If you want anything or any of the free sewing patterns that I have mentioned in this video, all of them will be in the info box below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Stay safe, stay positive, so on, and I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye!